Hello and welcome to another Poultry Keeper 360 video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how most turkeys we purchase in the grocery store have evolved over the years. We'll do it in a pretty unique way by looking at the turkeys presented to the U.S. presidents beginning in 1947 and going all the way through 2022. So let's take a look. Our first two photos show standard bred bronze turkeys being presented to Presidents Truman and President Eisenhower. Thanksgiving turkeys had been presented to U.S. presidents by the poultry industry for several years prior to the Truman administration, and all of those were standard bred birds. These turkeys didn't receive presidential pardons as that was not a practice at that time. As a matter of fact, President Truman quipped the birds he received would come in handy at Christmas. Turkeys didn't begin receiving presidential pardons until President Kennedy was elected. He was also responsible for starting the practice of sending the birds he received to children's zoos or petting farms. Both practices continue to this day. President Kennedy was also gifted the first of what would evolve into our modern day industrial turkeys. These birds were also the first to have their beaks shortened in a process called debeaking. Debeaking was done to reduce the damage birds could do to each other by pecking. As we move through the remaining photos, note how the turkey's legs become shorter and their breasts become larger. It is a result of genetic manipulation, which has also caused the birds to be unable to breed naturally. As a result, all modern day industrial turkeys are produced through artificial insemination. Now, enjoy the rest of the photos. This video would not be possible without the kind help of Frank Reese Jr. He took the time to assemble these photos and send them to us. In case you don't know, Frank has a lifelong passion for standard bred poultry breeds and preserving their unique genetic qualities. He's equally passionate about educating people about how to preserve, breed, and raise these valuable breeds. To these ends, Mr. Reese has created the Good Shepherd Conservancy to help in these efforts. To learn more about the Good Shepherd Conservancy, I encourage you to visit their website, and if you're able, consider supporting its important work with a tax-deductible contribution. We hope you found this Poultry Keepers 360 video interesting and helpful. For more poultry keeping content, consider joining our Poultry Keepers 360 Facebook group, and be sure to visit our Poultry Keepers 360 YouTube channel. You can also send us an email at poultrykeepers360 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.